Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it's a cold one. Cold one this morning. But it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful blue skies on the mountain today. It's supposed to warm up quite a bit. We're supposed to have a kind of like a warm front coming through. It's supposed to get up to like 76 degrees this week. And hopefully, fingers crossed, from what it's saying, we're supposed to have about two weeks of good weather. No rain, nothing, which would be absolutely amazing for the dreamers down there to give that road a chance to uh, dry up and uh, be able to get on lift with the box blade and uh, get that road situated and uh, get the rest of the shell that they got there, uh, what's left of the one loads that they have put in those areas. So that'd be cool for them. And then I also, I let this area dry out some. Now that I got the backhoe off of uh, Uber, I think before I take it to the shop, because on the 9th is when my warranty's up. So uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple of things done here uh, before the 9th and get it dropped off in time for it to still be up underneath my warranty. But being that we're gonna have two weeks of beautiful weather, I'm going to try to get as much done with Uber as I can before I take it. Um, and one of the things that I want to do, I've got a six foot rototiller that I've never put on the tractor. It's never been used. And uh, I would like to rototiller this whole yard, including the area over there that I burned and all of that, and plant some uh, grass seed. I need to uh, figure out what grass is going to work best for here. And something that will stay green, you know, pretty much year-round. Come back every year. I was talking to uh, Country Road Cure, and they was talking about clover. So I'm going to research that a little bit as well. Make sure it's safe for everything. And uh, kind of do a little research. And they said they've had good results with it. So uh, I might go that route or might go with a blend of clover and some other grass seed. So I just kind of need to look and find out. And uh, I want to put a lot of grass seed down. I want a lot of grass in the area. I still got a ton of stumps to dig up. So those areas there, uh, the grass is just gonna have to get messed up when I'm digging them up. And I'll have to plant more seed there and fill in the uh, patch spots. But the backo is what's broke on Uber uh, mainly. So can't dig up stumps right now. And uh, there's a ton of them around here. As you can see, got one there, there. There, 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 and also um, a couple more down there that I need to get. But I would like to get grass seed started. It looks like a, I don't think we're going to have any more major winter issues and stuff this year. And it would be nice to get rid of all this mud and stuff around here and actually get grass. I had grass for about a month in the summer and it completely got scorched. I don't think it was the right type of grass, but it looked amazing when it was there. And I sure would like to see that again more on a full-time basis. And now that I got everything cleared out over there, if I can get grass all back in there too, it would absolutely look gorgeous here on the mountain. It's been a very, very productive couple of weeks, guys. I have been non-stop. Uh, and I'm out here today about to get it. I did take, I didn't take yesterday off. I took yesterday off, a day off from uh, actually filming and keeping it real. But uh, I was actually getting it. I built the chicken coops yesterday and got the chickens on the mountain. And actually I had my first, uh, I put on the community post on Come On Homestead today. Uh, the breakfast that I made today with the eggs from the chickens. Kind of give y'all a kind of look back there it's right there can't show it yet um that video is going to be about a week before it comes out i've been uh filming so much and doing so many projects i have got a ton of footage and about four or five different projects that i've been working on i've been filming them all at the same time um so yeah i'm i got a lot in the in the can right now to edit so uh, I think the next video on Come On Homestead and is going to be the burn video. I will actually be finishing up one little thing today. 
out there with that with uber just kind of uh, cleaning up the area a little bit but it's officially all burnt and uh that way i can get that video out and then the following one will be the final uh build of the kitchen and then uh and then also uh i have trimmed the bathroom completely out made all the trimming did the whole bathroom uh, that's filmed. Um, I'll be working on filming a little bit more of that today as well because I am building today. I'm burning some more uh, material that I got and I'm going to uh, polyurethane it because it needs a day of dry time. And then uh, tomorrow morning I will be building all the custom shelves uh, in the bathroom behind the toilet area and stuff like that for that custom wall of shelves. And then, uh, then the bathroom is finished. And I'm also in the middle of uh, setting up the kitchen, getting all the canned goods and appliances and all that stuff out there. And uh, that video will be the last video of the kitchen series is uh, setting up the kitchen, decorating the kitchen and, uh, you know, showing an overall what it looks like when it's done, done, done. Uh, but the next video coming out on the kitchen, is it being done? All the structures and all that, all the cabinets and shelving and all of that stuff in there and with some of the appliances in there but uh i haven't brought in all the knives and you know dishes and canned goods and box food and all of that stuff yet or any of the little touches that i plan on uh doing to put it uh give it a little a little something extra also uh i did end up buying three windows i'll show you for the tiny house and what i'm gonna do I'll show y'all when I'm over here on this side of the tiny house. I'll be putting one window here where my desk is on this side of the door. I'll be putting one window over here where the bed is. And I will also be putting a window over here. right there where the sink is in the kitchen and i got the same style windows that i got i got one the same size of the bathroom uh, window that one to go in the kitchen because that's a small area but then i went up a size for the one in the bedroom area um that way they can also be considered for like emergency exits and stuff even though there's a door right there but you can see that's the one for the kitchen those are the ones right there for the bedroom which in the future will be the living room so um, i think it'll look good i think it'll add some light in there and really kind of make it a home and uh we'll also be doing that here in these next two weeks um that the weather is good my goal is is to get the whole inside done i'm trying to get it completely done so whenever i walk out the only thing left in there to do is uh put the concrete floor where the new kitchen area is and that little L shape right there. But uh, that won't happen until I extend that slab out a little bit for the new room that's going there. So that's in the future. But uh, yeah, making huge progress, really starting to finalize the inside of the tiny house. It is already functioning so much better. So, so much better. It doesn't get as cluttered as fast. Things are starting to find their home. And, uh, and I can't wait to finish getting the kitchen completely set up with all the food and uh, cooking utensils and all of that stuff in there uh, just to see how it works. Because I've been cooking in it and um, it's working pretty good and it's not even really set up yet. So, loving it. Domino, Domino, you want to say hi? Good morning. Good morning. Tail just a wagon. Domino loves the cooler weather, huh? All right, guys, this is going to be a short one today because I need to get to work. Just wanted to check in and say good morning, and I hope y'all have had a wonderful weekend up to this point, and I hope y'all are having a wonderful Sunday. Love every single one of y'all. Do something nice for somebody. As always, take a step closer to your goals, but keep it real. Come on.